Hi, my name is Ryan Piercy. I'm the MoDOT area engineer for Southwest St. Louis County. I'd like to take a little bit of time today to talk to you about one of our upcoming projects that will have some significant traffic impacts regarding the future rehab of the bridge that's right behind me. This is I-255 over the Mississippi River, better known as the Jefferson Barracks Bridge. So what's the issue? The issue is, is for the past couple years, we have had work planned out to significantly rehabilitate the bridge behind us to keep it open and operationally safe for the foreseeable future. Some might remember a couple years back, due to an annual inspection, we identified some additional needs that were needed to be taken care of at that time at the bridge and identified. We wanted to incorporate the findings of that inspection into this rehab work. What can you expect driving through this work zone as work gets started? A lane in each direction is going to be required to be shut down. And starting with the eastbound bridge, we will be doing a full closure of the bridge and shifting traffic on the other side. The closure of that bridge is going to happen and construction is going to go between March and December. We're going to try to wrap up the construction in December to have that bridge opened up for December and February months, most of the time when it's colder and we're going through and we're having snowstorms. We'd like to have both bridges up and open just to minimize congestion and impact during those winter months. Regarding the next construction season, the westbound bridge will be shut down and traffic will be diverted and switched over on the newly rehabbed eastbound bridge. We are going to utilize the closures here for the JB Bridge to also do rehab work just a little bit further up at the Coke Road Bridge as well. Coke Road Bridge will also utilize some of those lane closures and there'll be a lane close on each direction there as we do that work. It just makes sense that while we have this work zone and these closures to do, to rehab that bridge as well regarding its proximity and just get it all done. We're very aware of the impacts this will have for the daily commuter and traffic. This is a preventive maintenance project that needs to be carried out to keep this bridge operational for a long time down the road. During construction, I encourage you to seek alternate routes if you need to cross the river, whether you utilize I-64 or MLK. If you still choose to travel through the work zone, you may want to adjust your travel times to try to avoid those key peak times in the morning and in the afternoons. AM peak is around 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. PM peak is around 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. I encourage you to go to our website and read up for this and, and look for all the communications. Sign up for all those media blasts and follow us on social media to keep up to date on the project. We are trying to mitigate congestion as much as possible while we take care of this project and the needs that need to be taken care of and done. I do thank you again for coming, listening to me for a little while and exploring some of the information on that page. As this work zone starts to be developed and that traffic switch comes, I just want to encourage everybody out there on the roadway to please look out for each other. Look out for your other drivers on the roadway. Watch out for our contractor and our inspectors. The goal for everybody, our goal as well as yours, we want everybody to be traveling to and from, get to their destination and get home safe. Just slow down through our work zones, follow those work zone speed limits, look out for each other, keep an eye out. And as always, whether you're traveling through a work zone or even just one of our roadways anywhere in Missouri, I encourage you, Buckle up and put your phone down. Thank you so much.